What's up everyone, it's Q from Retro Q Gaming, and I'm here to talk a little bit about Zelda. Not Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, the borderline masterpiece that has released on Wii U and Nintendo Switch about two months ago, but I want to talk about the future of the Legend of Zelda series. Now, in specific, I want to talk about one specific thing regarding the future of Legend of Zelda. So, of course, there will be more Legend of Zelda games. That is without a doubt. That's not even a question in anyone's mind. Chances are it's going to be five, maybe six years before we see another brand new Zelda game. And I think in the meantime, we will see something Zelda related, something not so much new, but new old or new new, if you get the reference. But between now and then, I'm expecting one important thing. Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD Remaster for Nintendo Switch. Why do I think it's going to happen on Nintendo Switch? Well, it's almost too perfect given the situation. When you look at The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, which released on exclusively on the Wii in 2011, a week before Skyrim, mind you. I, I only note that because of the comparisons between Breath of the Wild and Skyrim, and many people use that as the comparison and the influence. But... The reason why I want to talk about that is, let's see, to this day, nearly six years later, at least in November of 2011, nearly six years later, the game has, has not sold four million copies. Now, I'm not saying that in a negative light or anything, but I'm just saying four million copies. Let, let's round up and call it four million copies. So, four million copies after all this time. Now, when you look at that, versus the error of a generation that was the Wii U. We'll write that off completely. I know they re-released it as a digital download on the Wii U, but of course that is literally just a digital version of the Wii copy. It's not upgraded or enhanced in any way, shape, or form. So, when you look at the main control system for Skyward Sword, you're talking swing in the Wii mode and nunchuck around. Not a... Not an ideal situation for many people, myself included, simply because it's just not my preferred way to play games, and especially not my preferred way to play Zelda games. So, given the obvious comparison between the Wiimote and, well, Wiimote and Nunchuk, and what I like to call the Wiimote and Nunchuk 2.0, which are the Joy-Cons, which I'm also not a huge fan of, by the way, but the point is that it can be transferred almost perfectly over to that. Okay, so when you look at using the Joy-Cons, remove them from the console, one in each hand, it's obviously wireless or Bluetooth nowadays, so there's no cable between your left hand and your right hand like there was back on the, the Wii, and it feels like almost a perfect fit. And of course, because everyone is going to be in Zelda fever because of Breath of the Wild, there's going to be a huge... A uh, huge uptake on it. Personally, I think if they released Legend of Zelda Breath of the no, <laughs> Breath of the Wild, Legend of Zelda um, Skyward Sword HD Remaster within, well, I think before the end of this year is too optimistic because we still have the DLC for Breath of the Wild. I think if they announce it maybe this E3, and then release it some point next year, possibly in March, you know, so let's call it a one-year anniversary from Breath of the Wild, people will still be hyped in Zelda mode. People will be thinking, oh my god, Zelda, Breath of the Wild, and now it's this is being ported over. Because, let's face it, on the Wii, over 100 million copies sold. Uh, let me rephrase that, 100 million hardware units sold. And that has a less than 4% adoption rate for Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. To this day, a prog just over two months later, just, after, just over two months after launch, the Nintendo Switch and the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild ha both have almost hit the same numbers as Skyward Sword did in six years. So, you see my point, you see what I'm getting at. If this momentum keeps up for the Nintendo Switch, because it's, it's selling like hotcakes, we know that. And if that momentum keeps up, and the hardware keeps getting out there, and the numbers keep growing, when you look 
at ev- how at how critically acclaimed and how well and popular Breath of the Wild is received. To have people in the mindset of Zelda, 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 and then to release Skyward Sword, an upgraded, boosted, HD enhanced, f- new, fully featured version of Skyward Sword, people will go crazy and it will sell gangbusters. If you ask me. Now, having said all that, okay? Having said everything I've talked about in this video, which is basically all positive so far, there is one thing I want to see in the inevitable HD version of, of Skyward Sword on Nintendo Switch. I would like to see, and this has to be a given at this point, this has to happen, otherwise they arguably face the same problem, or one of the, one of the main complaints that was in Skyward Sword. Give Pro Controller support for Skyward Sword HD whenever it comes out on the Nintendo Switch. I don't want to be swinging my Joy-Cons around, flailing around in my room. Many people don't want that. It was arguably one of the two biggest complaints of Skyward Sword, that and the standard definition graphics. So, they were the two biggest ones. If you can eliminate both of those in one fell swoop... All you need to do is you get rid of it. Boom. HD. You already have HD on it. it, it the Switch is HD. It's powerful enough to do at least 720p. You could do it with that. The art style of Zelda is gorgeous. It scales really well. It's going to look great on the Switch screen as well as be it whatever resolution you do docked to the TV. So, that eliminates the visual aspect of it. Now, when it comes to the control input and the whole swinging around of motion controls and stuff like that it cannot be too difficult to let's just call it reverse engineer that system into a way that can work on a standard style controller you did it in you did it the opposite way around for the gamecube and the wii when twilight princess was coming out on the gamecube with the the actual controller, and then Twilight Princess released at the same time on the Wii with the motion controls, and it's still considered the definitive version, or at least re- disregarding the HD version, uh, HD remake, is considered the definitive version and the definitive control input on the GameCube, because you've got your controller to play a Zelda game the way you want to play a Zelda game. I realize it's a first-party game, obviously Nintendo wanted to include their motion control gimmick to just satisfied the fact that it's like, hey, we're motion controls. But anyway, that's beside the point. So, in the inevitable HD remaster for Nintendo Switch of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, do those two things, Nintendo. We obviously have... It's obviously going to be in HD, so that's that's a given. That That's just a given at that point. But the big thing that I want to see is support for the Pro Controller and support for just a regular controller scheme. Even if... Even if you can include also, obviously there's the, let's call it the motion style Joy-Con Wiimote 2.0 flailing around style, as well as popping them onto the Joy-Con grip, or just playing it in handheld mode, or playing it in tabletop mode with the Joy-Cons in one in each hand, but not motion control. And of course, the Pro Controller as well. So the control input for a more traditional control style is what I want to see. That's the biggest and only more important thing I want to see in The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD Remaster. So what do you think? Do you think during or whenever the inevitable Skyward Sword HD Remaster finally comes out for Nintendo Switch, what would you like to see? Would you like to see a variety of control inputs? Would you like to see it as the Joy-Con flailing around only? Or would you like to see all of them there with the Pro Controller or multiple different variations of the Joy-Con's use? Would you Have you played Skyward Sword? I know I have, but I haven't finished it. Would you... Are you... Were you a Joy-Con flader or a Wiimote flader when you played it? Was that good to you? Was that a main detraction from the game for you? Let me know all of that in the comment section below. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. You can follow me on Twitter. Details in the description below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the rest of the videos in my channel.